Tonight, St. Louis Park Police are sending a warning to kids with fake guns that look real. Police say tragedy was avoided when officers were called to a city park last night on reports of two teenagers running around with guns. Reg Chapman joins us with what happened here and why police are now sending a message, Reg. Well, Liz, it was a situation where St. Louis Park Police had no idea what they were walking into. Officers say good training and good instinct turned a scary situation into a teaching moment for parents and their children alike. These uh, little ones were back by the fence, by the woods, uh, behind the dugouts. Catherine Kotke and her family were out for an evening walk when they noticed two teens playing near a ball field inside Dakota Park. They just were two boys, and, and I saw a, a reflection uh, of something in his hand, and I thought it was a gun. So we just sort of watched him, and then he turned a little bit again toward us, and it was clearly a gun. Cocky says she saw a neighbor walking. She says he let her use his cell phone to call 911. I didn't know if these two boys were upset with each other or if they were playing a game, but on the 911 call, I did tell the person, I'm not sure if it's an airsoft or a real gun, but it looks real. St. Louis Park Police arrived and were told the teens were behind Peter Hobart School. When the officers uh, got out of the car, the one child heard uh, either the car or the officer, and he turned around with one of the pistols in his hand and ended up pointing it in the direction of our officer who drew his weapon believing he was in danger of somebody with a pistol. The child raised his hand up with the gun in his hand and then reached into his waistband and grabbed another one, which wasn't ideal either. Once the officer started to give commands, immediately cooperated, threw the guns to the ground, and they were detained briefly. Police say the guns were not real, but looked real, especially in a tense situation. They want parents to know it is not a good idea to allow children to play with these lifelike toys. And really, really pleased that the officers took that extra split second to just wait a, a moment and make the right decision because it doesn't always happen that way, and it's important to recognize when it does. Now, the 13 and 14 year old boys were allowed to go home with their parents. You might remember just a few months ago, a toy gun in a park led to a shooting in Crystal. In that case, 18 year old Khalil Thompson was having a mental health crisis and did not respond to officers' commands to put down his weapon, which ended up being a pellet gun. Thompson is now out of the hospital, and that case is still under investigation by the BCA, Liz. All right, Reg, thank you.